We're at Santa Claus Village. We're gonna do the bath and vlog here. We're gonna concentrate on the center circle. This place is pretty big, but uh, unless you're staying at some of the hotels or cabins, you're not gonna deviate much from the area. But welcome, and here we go. Just before we dive too deep into this, just to give you an idea, there's tons of stuff to do when you go to Santa's Village. There's plenty of things to do in the village itself, and there is plenty of stuff to do outside of Santa's Village if you want to just check out Rovaniemi and Lapland in general. Obviously, the main reason to go to Santa's Village is to see Santa Claus, and it's a great time for the kids, but there's plenty of stuff to do for the adults as well. You can find the map of Santa's Village on their website, but it won't have any bathrooms on it. We'll help you with that. There's two main areas where you can pull off the main drag that goes by Santa's Village, and then there's a couple parking lots. And in the center of the front area is a parking area for taxis and buses. And we went into the village and we scouted out where the bathrooms are and we found them for you and we're going to mark them on the map. The first bathroom we came to was in the Christmas house and restaurant cafe. Then we found one in the reception area by the Three Elves restaurant. There is another bathroom in the Cafe Ensalumi by Snowman's World. And then over by the Loft Cafe and Snack Shop, there is bathrooms upstairs on the top of the loft. There's also a small set of bathrooms in the uh, main door of the Santa Claus Gift House and Arctic Circle Info Spot. And there's a set of bathrooms kind of to the thoroughfare of that... Uh, that shopping strip along where the gift house is. And of course, last but certainly not least, there is a bathroom in Santa Claus's office where he works. So let's get started. We'll head first to the Christmas house and restaurant shop. All right, let's go inside the Christmas house. All right, so we're gonna go inside the Christmas house and they have some toilets in the back so there's toilets in the back by this restaurant cafeteria so let's go check that out so this just looks like the cafeteria area It does smell like gravy. That's like the buffet. There's an entrance there. That's just the ladies. Okay, the men's is over there. Okay. All right. Well, I'll go check that one out. So there's a couple stalls. A couple of girls. Oh, another stall. It's quiet here. For a restaurant, it's pretty packed out there, but it's kind of quiet. So, I don't see. There's still, I don't see changing tables or too much room for handicap or too much room for uh, assistance, but basic bathroom. Let's see what Shelby found. Did you even get inside yet? I do. You did? Okay, looks really busy. <laughs> What'd you see in there? Um, there's two stalls, two sinks. What else was in there? Uh, there's a table. Changing table? Yeah. Okay, so there's a changing table in the women's room. Okay. Anything else that's good? Did you have much room for like a like wheelchair assistance? I didn't see much room in, in the men's room for that. 
don't think there is. There isn't. Overall? Um, it's pretty small. Small. Okay, yeah, that's ours. It's just tight. So you can go in and see that Santa Claus. There's no bathroom back there. So the Christmas house is you go all the way to back to the restaurants and that's the only bathroom back there is that one of the restaurant. Next on our list, the reception area and Three Elves restaurant. So Three Elves, it's a restaurant. It's a reception area. So you can check into your uh, room, your chalet for Santa Claus Holiday Village. You can check in there. There's a bar inside. There's a safari booking center, uh, but it's kind of like a main thoroughfare, but we can go inside and we can see if they have bathrooms in there and we can check them out. So this is the Three Elves reception area. And so there's places to hang out, buffet, restaurant, there's kitchen, there is bathrooms. So the, the biggest use for this area is if you get a hotel, like the cabins and the surrounding areas, this is where you would check in, you'd get your keys and you'd go get your place. So there's not actually any rooms inside, it's just a reception area. And there's a bar over there too as well. But you would get your keys and you'd go back out to the back of the area. There's a door over there. And you can go out to your cabin. Otherwise, this little place to hang out. Alright, so let's go check this one out. It's in the toy area. So the, I think the hardest part about this is if you had to get to the handicapped toilet you had to somehow get through all the Legos. That's pretty interesting. All right, so. Yeah, okay. So it's a nice bathroom. Uh, it's got the amenities. This looks like changing table maybe? Yes, okay. So it's got changing table, extra toilet paper, nice garbage can. It's pretty, uh, Pretty sophisticated system here, and it's even got the little child potty, which is probably really good for if you have the children. Um, but again, coming out here, you got to deal with this. I I know you want to play. So, well, it is marked as a children's bathroom with the diaper changing area, but it's also marked as a wheelchair assist. So you would have to get your wheelchair through all this and then there's the other toilets back here past the kitchen and they're up here kitchen. there's bathrooms men's women's you can try to see how this works Three urinals, two sinks. Uh, it looks nice in here, but it smells really bad. Yeah, it smells pretty bad in here, but there's a bathroom available in here. All right, so did you find anything in the girls' room? Mom's room? Um, I went in there last night. I don't remember how many stalls there were. I do know there was a lot. How'd it smell? It smelled nice. It smelled nice? Men's room smells like stinky urine. It was fine. It was under construction. Didn't have any smell to it. I think someone probably just came in and cleaned it. There was probably, let's say, probably about five, six stalls, three sinks that were here. And, um, but I mean, it was clean overall. Not, nothing bad. I will say this, as crazy as this place is right now, as busy as this place is right now, going into the bathroom, there wasn't anybody in there. So I'm thinking that maybe since this place is, since this place is more like a thoroughfare, 
people are mostly dining or checking in their hotels and they have their own bathrooms and their own cabins that maybe they're just not using the bathrooms in here as much. Because when I walked in, it just wasn't busy. So that's, that's a plus for it, is that there's just not a lot of volume in there. All right, so Santa Claus Village is this way. There's the Arctic Circle Post Office. About to cross into the Arctic Circle. Are you cold? No? Doing okay? Negative five degrees? Next, it's time for some fun near Snowman World. All right, so we're here at Snowman World. And it's the coolest place in Santa Claus Village. And I think they mean that literally. If you go into Snowman's World, there's a lot of fun things to do, but one of the coolest things to do, no pun intended, is you can sit in an all ice restaurant and have some hot chocolate and some dessert. But you can go ice skating, you can go tubing, uh, and the tube rides are pretty fun. There's different rides, there's small ones for the kids, and there's ones for the adults. And speaking of adults, Snowman World's got some stuff for everybody. Uh, so the kids are going to have a good time, but there's actually a bar inside Snowman's World. So if you want to go in and have drinks, you can do that as well. But I highly recommend Snowman's World. Lots of fun stuff to do. So that's the amusement part of Snowman's World. And there's cafeteria and restaurant. There is a bathroom inside the cafeteria restaurant, but there's not one inside the amusement part. All right, so bathrooms in the cafeteria area are here. Oh, ah, so the wheelchair assisted one has changing table, toilet for wheelchair assistance, and a shower. Changing table and shelf. Daddy. All right, I'm gonna go in the men's room. Daddy. Yeah, baby. Daddy. No, baby. Daddy. All right, so the men's room has a urinal, toilet, the very lip sink, kind of a day type hose, and hand washing sink, mirror, pair of towels, trash can, little coat hook. Not bad in here, actually. No smell, lots of light, so good stuff. Let's see what we got on the other side. Anybody in there? Yeah. Alright, so what was the windows room like? There's two toilets, but there's no stalls. Two toilets, no stalls? So it's kind of like a single person kind of thing? Two there's toilets. a wall between the toilets. Oh, it's like a divider? So you can't shut the doors? You can, you can lock the doors. But they're not a stall. You can lock the doors. Anybody in there? I like to get in the picture. You want to show people what you're talking about? Oh, okay, so you have a divider, and then you have your bathroom. You lock this door. Is that what you're talking about? The main door? Okay, but two people can go. Okay. We got Santa Claus's gift house. It's kind of a long strip here at the front of the central area. We can go see if there's any bathrooms over there. So let's go for some shopping now near the Loft Cafe. We're gonna go inside here and we'll check this place out. So we've got lots of shopping here. It's a bunch of little shops, like a strip. This is upstairs in the main building. Come up the stairs, go to the end, and toilets are right there. Or you can come up another set of stairs and walk all the way down. But there's a restaurant right across the way, and this one's just kind of hidden. So upstairs there's a single seater. No changing table.
So yeah, there's so there's a single men and women's up here. So same thing on the other side it looks like. So men and women are about the same as far as amenities go. And this is actually just stashed away in the corner by the cafe restaurant. The reindeer cafe restaurant. Oh, there's a Wi-Fi zone too, apparently. Now it does say on the sign, toilets, and it says 10 toilets are downstairs. So I'll have to try to find that and check it out. So now let's continue on to the Santa Claus gift house. All right, so we come through here, there's a little play area, a little tourist information spot, and store. There's a little cafe area. And so there's exit. Here we go. So here's some toilets over here. Man, woman. So these water closets are right between this shop and the cafe. This one's tight. There's one stall. Very real check, so it kind of smells in here too. The urinal, sink, no changing table. Towels right there. That's it. I can barely get in. I'm trying to get out of here. Did you manage to even get in there? Stone, someone was in there. Oh, okay. And that's it? It's pretty small, huh? Two sinks. Does your smell? You had two sinks? Okay. Alright. And there's that one. Alright. And there's still some more toilets to find in the shopping area. Let's continue. And there's toilets right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you go check out the ladies. We'll meet back here. Okay, this one's quiet, surprisingly. Two urinals, stall. It's another stall in there. Um, this one's more, this is the wheelchair accessible. Good accommodations, it's on sink. Well, skylight. Three sinks. Soap dispenser, paper towels. So I don't see any changing tables though. That's probably the one thing that the men's room is missing. We'll see what Shelby found. All right, how was it? It's big. Big? Mm -hmm. big? Was there a changing table? No. There's a handicap store. There's a wheelchair accessible one. Okay. How many other stalls are there? Three. Plus the wheelchair? Okay. All right. Okay, so if you go into the souvenir shop, cafe, restaurant, Napa Tupuli, don't know if I'm saying that right, uh, go straight back. That's where you're gonna find that first set of water closets to the back. There's the Santa Claus gift house sign that we walked under. 
So it's through here that you'll find your first set of bathrooms. If you go in there, down to the right, past that information booth, that's where you'll find that set of bathrooms under the stairs. All right, so Chris and Shelby here again. We're in Santa's Village in the Arctic Circle. A couple things to consider while we're here. Uh, the bathrooms here are free. There's not many of them, uh, but for the few ones that we found, they're free. You can pretty much go in and use them without a problem. Anything you can think of? We're here off season. Yeah, okay, so that's one. We're here in February. We were told if you come in February, you had a better chance to see Northern Lights. We didn't see any, um, but there's not as many people here as there usually are during Christmas. Uh, what else you got? We're also here during coronavirus. <laughs> here during coronavirus. So a lot of the a lot of the taxi drivers, a lot of the taxi drivers that we talked to and a couple people here when we were touring around, they said that the business is not as hectic. There's a lot less people here because a lot less people are traveling because of the coronavirus outbreak. So business has slowed. So what you're seeing from our videos and what we're finding, I would anticipate if you came here during Christmas, it would probably be really busy. And if there wasn't a disease outbreak limiting people's travel or people self-limiting travel, you probably would see a lot more people here. So you probably see busier bathrooms. Anything else? No. All right. Uh, we're going to go explore a little more and tell you what we find. And our exploring is going to lead us to the big man himself. Let's go check out the bathroom he probably knows. All right, so this is Santa Claus's main office. Let's go see what the bathrooms look like in there. Big snowman. All right, so this is Santa Claus's main office. We got an Italian outlet to the right, and there's toilets there. We've got Mary Mecco to the left. And it's very, very busy in here. So, you want gloves off? Okay. Okay. All right, we'll go check it out. Did you already check it out? Yeah. Anybody in there? No. Here. Here, go ahead. All right, so what'd you see? Um, I had to go into the stall first because there's someone in that came in after me. So I had to look at the, um, look at the stuff in the bathroom, and I mean in the stall. And then, but I had to go out because my stall wouldn't lock. Okay, so in the men's room, there's about five stalls, three urinals. I didn't see any changing tables. Uh, there's an air dryer, a paper towel dryer, one of the soap dispensers is broken, so there's only one that works. One soap dispenser that works. Let's go and go check out another spot. Alright, so we found wheelchair assistance, bathroom. It's on the ground floor. There's even a little kids potty in here. That's pretty nice. This is very roomy, very big, very clean, and very sophisticated. And this is actually just located next to the mailboxes under the toilet sign that points downward. Yeah, there's a second story to this place, but there's no bathrooms upstairs. So just to sum up real quick, if you're looking for privacy, we recommend those bathrooms on the second floor near the loft cafe. And if you're looking for a good wheelchair accessible bathroom, we recommend the one at the Santa Claus office. Just one word of caution, I'm trying to get up the ramps on the outside, it's a little difficult going up that ice and snow. Well, thanks everyone for hanging out with us today at Santa's Village. Don't forget to check us out on our other social media platforms. Have a good day.
Bye.